it is absolutely unbelievable how many whales there are. I just cannot describe to you how much wildlife there is. Good morning. As you can tell, my voice is still really bad. Yesterday, I completely lost my voice all night last night. Um, starting in late afternoon, I just I couldn't speak at all. So that made for an interesting New Year's Eve. I, I did not narrate the end of last night as far as New Year's because I couldn't speak. But I did get some footage of the New Year's celebration, the midnight countdown, the balloon drop, and everything that happened in the atrium. And that was a lot of fun, and I was so, so bummed to not be feeling good. Um, because I just, at that point in the night, my head felt like it was going to explode. And I could, I just, breathing is hard. And I, not being able to speak made it pretty much impossible to hang out with people and socialize. So I went and I observed and watched and, you know, it enjoyed and soaked in the moment of 2023 turning into 2024. And it was lovely. And I, I wish I'd been able to immerse myself into it more. But that's just the way that the ball dropped this year. <laughs> So um, I'm heading to the spa. I didn't get my room cleaned yesterday and it needs to be clean. There's towels and stuff that need to get taken out. So I'm gonna let my steward do his thing. Oh, and before I go, one other thing. There is, today is day two in Antarctica. There are two lectures. There's one at 11 a.m. that I wish I could join or hopefully I can join about Shackleton's adventure and another one I, th I think at 3 p.m. Around 1 p.m. we will be reaching Elephant Bay. I believe that's what it's called, Elephant Bay. The narration over the loudspeakers will, will resume just like it did yesterday from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Today it's a little bit shorter. I think it's only 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Then after that we're back up to the, the Drake Passage through to uh, Stanley in the Falkland Islands, which will take one full sea day. So today is Antarctica. Tonight and tomorrow, Drake Passage, and the following day is Falkland Islands, which I do have another penguin excursion booked, and I am just really, really, really hoping that I feel better by then and that we are able to make it to Falkland Islands. Apparently, it's a 50-50 chance that um, that port will get canceled due to weather, so fingers crossed. So they just started narrating this afternoon. It's a little after one o'clock. Um, there's a lot of sea life. There's tons of whales this morning. They are fin whales and penguins, chinstrap penguins specifically, but it seems like all the action is happening on the port side of the ship today, and I am on the starboard side. So apparently we are coming up to an ice, a chunk of ice that has penguins on it. No guarantee they'll be there in the three or four minutes it'll take us to get up to that point, and I really wanna go see them but the bow cam makes it look like it's busy out there and I'm already chilly enough as it is standing out on my balcony so I, all I can do is hope for the best that there will be more to see when we get closer to Elephant Island. I would say we're probably a good 20 minutes out or so from the viewing area like the close view up and the map is updating on the TV and they are coming over the loudspeaker pretty commonly or pretty often to make updates about the wildlife and everything so there should be a lot more to see I hope. Alright here they are back again. Oh, here comes another announcement. Again, for those of you that are aft of the ship, in the, the, the back of the ship, there is a small piece of ice we're passing on the port side. It has some chin strap and Gen 2 penguins on it. So keep an eye out all the way back on the port side. I guess I should have stayed in the spa a little longer. <laughs> um, could have probably seen it from there but it's okay there have been a lot of whales and I'm sure that there will be more so I do think we will see penguins on Elephant Island apparently they are habitat there so anyway update you later okay so 
I was just out on the balcony with my binoculars. They're kind of cheap, like little small ones, so I'm not getting like the best views, but there was a little chunk of ice floating by, and as I was looking at it through my binoculars, I saw some uh, penguins try and climb on it, and then I saw one get on it, and then climbed up to the top and was standing at the top just looking out and observing. And then I tried to go get my phone to take a picture, but by the time I got the camera out, it was gone. Oh, more penguins swimming. Okay, I'm gonna go try and get this. Look at all these penguins playing. Oh my Just look at the water at the very base of that iceberg. It looks like it's a completely different color. I don't know if the camera will capture it. Unreal. Captain Frank Worsley claimed it was a nickname given by the crew because it was a hell of an island to live on. And the first known sighting of the island was by the Russian Antarctic expedition led by Fabian Gottlieb von Bellingshausen in 1821. And he actually had named the island Mordvinova Island after the Russian Admiral Mordvinov, that since more widely known as Elephant Island. So this is Clarence Island. This is up to the north east of Elephant Island, which we are approaching now. I didn't want to ice them. It was kind of weak that we did. 
I just got back to the cabin. <laughs> it is absolutely unbelievable how many whales there are. There have to be 50 to 100 and I am not exaggerating. I saw at least 30 to 50 out on the bow. I went down there for about 20 minutes. My hands were freezing. I forgot my gloves. But there are so many. I mean, I'm just looking at like 10, 15 spouts happening right in front of me. I'll show you. I actually don't know if the camera picked it up, but it doesn't matter because I got a ton of footage of it earlier uh, when I was out on the bow. I just like basically left my camera running. Just went and grabbed a coffee from the Starbucks Atrium Cafe. Oh, there's a group of penguins swimming right by outside. <laughs> I just cannot describe to you how much wildlife there is. Birds, penguins, different species of penguins, two different species of whales. We saw fin whales, which have a fin that looks like a dolphin fin on the back. And then they don't show their tails when they go underwater. So you can see their fin as they kind of go up and spout. And then they, you see their fin and then they go down. Whereas humpback whales, when they go down, the very last thing that goes down is their tail. And it had, the tail has two fins on either side. And I did see a whale, a humpback whale, and its fin go down. Unfortunately, I captured that for social media. So it's in portrait mode. If I can squeeze it into this video, I certainly will. But I, I just like my, I don't know how to describe this to you other than to say, everywhere you look, there are whales, penguins, birds, something, everywhere. I mean, it is just unbelievable. It's a sight to see. It's, it's nothing like I've ever seen before or probably will ever see again. Even in Alaska, nothing like this. I've never seen any videos like this from, from people who've been, into, been to Alaska, been on whale, like whale watching excursions. I've just never seen anything like it. I mean, the ship just basically sat there pointing forward without moving for 30 minutes because there's so much activity happening right in the front of the ship. The weather is a little bit clearer now. The clouds have lifted a little bit, but we are actually turning up now and gonna turn around and go back around um, this side of Elephant Island. They've been coming on periodically to give us tidbits of information about Shackleton's adventure. So I think that I thought that's been really useful, really helpful information because I did not make it to the 11 a.m. lecture this morning about Shackleton's adventures. And all right, so I'm gonna take a break for a bit, let my hands warm up, uh, my face warm up. Yeah, I can't wait to show you all this footage. This is Elephant Island for Shackleton King. 
and the ship is turning around now. We've been facing the other direction for most of the day, but I just wanted to make sure I get all of this incredible view on camera. And then I'm gonna grab my binoculars because there are penguin colonies over there that you can't see on camera. I just had to show you this. But these two islands over here are absolutely covered in penguins. Tons and tons of them. Like thousands. So I'm gonna try and zoom in and get some videos. It might be blurry, but you can see with my binoculars close up, it's incredible. on this piece of ice, but it's so hard to tell. Can't really see them. New Year's Day dinner. We are officially in the Drake Passage. We sailed away from the last Antarctic islands a couple of hours ago. It's probably almost 8 o'clock, I shall check, 7.50. And I meant to go to dinner earlier than this, but time got away with me. There was a penguin de demonstration that came on one of the channels. I have not flipped through these channels other than to look at the navigation and the bow cam, so apparently they are replaying the Christmas special the show that they did for christmas on the ship which i missed so i was just watching a little bit of that and then earlier they had a presentation running on penguins which i almost i also missed earlier in the cruise did not even know it was happening that's on me for not reading the freestyle daily close enough um somehow missed that really would have liked to go to the penguin demonstration but i did get to catch most of it um thanks to the replay so really cool that they're doing that it is of course not like advertised it was, it's actually on the German channel I think or at least that's what the guide says so anyway I'm ready for dinner I am feeling better I'm sounding a little bit better I can actually talk today last night I truly like had no voice I could not speak at all and it was unfortunate because I went to dinner at teppanyaki which is as you know or if you don't know it is a very interactive uh, show that occurs for dinner while the cook kind of sings to you and as he's cooking the food in front of you. So it was just me and two other people. It was a, a mom and her child, I think, that um, that's who it was. So the three of us were the only ones at the table. And it was strange because my reservation was at 7 o'clock. Theirs was at 6.45. And by 7.15, no one else had showed up to be sat at our table. So for some reason, we had the whole table to ourselves. So it was kind of nice, but it was tough chatting with them because I had no voice. So again, unfortunate, but just... Just what it is, so off to dinner I go.
we're gonna time this off as well, so you need to be fast, all right? Timer ready? In three, two, one, go! I feel good! Oh yeah, oh yes, oh yes, all right. And it's about to cross the bridge now. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah.